For months, we've reported on how the city and Durham police are implementing unarmed responders to help resolve emergency situations. Yeah, the HEART program, we talked about it a lot. Well, tonight there's a new documentary that's giving folks a better understanding of their role. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live in Durham. And Nick, this film really gives the public a lot of insight, which I'm sure they love, about this program and the impact it's having on the city. Yeah, that's right, Rod and Angela. This documentary shows the good and not so good moments for heart responders when going out to different emergencies. Now, there's interest in expanding the program, something that could be included in this year's budget. A packed audience inside Durham's Carolina Theater for the premiere of a new locally produced documentary, Heart, Serving Our Neighbors in Crisis. This work, being a first responder, is a brave act, and it's also a brave act to be able to be, have a camera in the room while you're doing all the work in the first year. Brian Smith is a head of Heart and director of the city of Durham's Community Safety Department. Why did we do this? We did this because of a commitment to transparency. This is an emerging field. There are a lot of questions. Heart is short for Holistic Empathetic Assistance Response Team and the focus of the film. It's a collaborative project between the city of Durham and RTI International. It shows everything from the mental health clinicians and the 911 center to teams of unarmed responders for nonviolent mental health or quality of life calls. In the process of working with them and being with them in the field, um, I saw kindness. Since launching last June, Hart has responded to more than 5,300 calls. The group saw its highest volume of calls in March with just over 800 the majority being follow-ups and mental health emergencies. The data tells a part of a story, but behind all of that data, there are stories of people. Smith told me expanding heart will certainly be a topic during city budget talks. In terms of whether or not we'll see an expansion of heart, we'll know a lot more starting in May. So our job as a department is to put forward options for city leadership to consider. We have done that. Those options have been vetted by budget. And you guys, the Community Safety Department received $4.8 million in last year's budget. Now, as far as this documentary and, and where to see it, there will be community uh, screenings coming um, starting next month. In Durham, Nick Sturdivant, yeah. CBS 17 News. Interesting. Angela, we're just saying we want to check that. it out for sure. All right, Nick, thank you.